Hey guys, Evan and Randy here. Normally I would say welcome out to the range, but obviously we're not at the range. We're at my house in the kitchen. And I wanted to show you guys something that I have been perfecting over the last couple of months. And um, it, it's beans. I know that some of you are going, why am I watching this video? Stick with it. Not only is being a good provider, uh, you know, being a guy who knows how to handle his weapons and knows tactics and whatnot, but also you should be able to cook for yourself, for your family. And um, one of the things that I've done for years is beans. It's easy, but once I invested in some Instant Pots, which, guys, if you don't have one of these, in fact, I have two of these. I have one there and one here. And I got two of these because I originally had gotten one of the slightly larger ones, but what I found was that there are times where you want to do two things at once, and the Instant Pots actually create a fair amount of food. I mean, they, they really do a lot of food in one, in a, in one city. So what I found was that I could do beans in one, whole grain rice in the other, or chicken, or, or steam carrots, or potatoes, or whatever. You can plow through a meal so fast with these things because the cook times, for example, chicken frozen to done is a 30 minute cook time. Soaked beans can be done as easily as within a 30 minute cook time. Um, and that's, you're going to have to do experimentation based on the bean. Um, but anyways, I do navy beans, and I cook them for an hour and 30 minutes. And the, Why an hour and 30 minutes? Because I've been slowly lowering that down. And frankly, I think I could get down to an hour, but there's a certain consistency that I like to the bean as well. But uh, anyways, let's get into this. The first thing that you have to do is you have to soak your beans, but you have to sift the beans, because you have to make sure that there are no stones in them. And sifting the beans consists of taking a bowl um, that has a, a bright colored lid. And what I do is I just start pouring the beans into the lid and start slowly sifting them. And you'll notice that I'm not putting a lot of beans in here. I'm just putting just enough beans in here to sift very carefully. I can clearly see the white bean against the red backdrop. And I can clearly see if there's going to be stone in there. It's just, I'm not using the audio. It's just this portion. Just do anything. Sucker, I'm actually going to use the audio of you girls singing. Ah. Dad, no. All right, shut it off. <laughs> All right, once you've got your beans sifted, what you do is you put them in the refrigerator for eight hours, and they will end up taking up a lot of water, which is absolutely what you want. They'll take up a lot of water, and these were actually covered to a, uh, to a depth of two inches of water, and now there's barely half an inch of water covering the beans. You go ahead and you dump this water out. All right, I put roughly a cup of water in the bottom of the stainless steel cook pot for the Instant Pot. I take two envelopes of onion soup mix from uh, Aldi, which is essentially their version of uh, Lipton soup mix. And they go right in. And everything from here on out is really just to taste. Cayenne pepper. Like people always go, what, what, how much are you using? And I go, basically, uh, all it really is is to flavor. If you like hotter beans, you add more. And then I do garlic powder, and this is from Aldi. The vast majority of what we do comes from Aldi. And once again, this is purely to flavor. We like garlic. And then cumin. And then once again, everything is to flavor. Mix these up, and with all honesty, guys, you could actually get away with dumping all this stuff directly in, and the Instant Pot would probably take care of mixing it for you because it goes into a high boil. Next come your beans. You cover these till you have about an inch of water above the beans. About right there. Yeah. You don't need a lot of water in here because the beans have already taken up all the water that they're gonna that they're gonna need. Next, you take the beans and you put them into the instant pot. Here are some key things to understand about your instant pot. When you plug this up, it is straight in. It's not a wiggle. It's not a jiggle. It's straight in. When you're working with the lid, um, when you're cleaning the lid rather, don't make it a habit of pulling the seal out because the seal will eventually start to break down and you really don't have to pull it out because they've designed it that it has has a free emotion inside of here so you can get it completely clean. My cleaning solution is two tablespoons of dish soap and the rest is just straight vinegar, uh, distilled vinegar, white vinegar. And it does a great job of cutting fats off of things. 
as these seals age, they start to yellow and they, they'll, they'll begin to get tougher. So you want to keep track of the quality of your seal. And you want to periodically take these two things apart. It's in the owner's manual. I'm not going to cover it right now. And make sure your weight is in place, otherwise you're never going to reach temperature. And what you do, these things already have programs. An hour and 30 minutes. Now listen. That's it. You're done. It's already started. The default is already on keep warm and now it's telling you that it's starting. Make sure that this weight, instead of pointing this way, is pointed that way and it will build pressure all on its own. What I like about the Instant Pot is it's a, it's a pressure cooker without any drama. I described that to a lady, I forget where I was, but I described it to a lady the other day and she started laughing and I said, but if you've ever cooked with a pressure cooker, she says, yes I did. So did I. As a kid, my abuelita, my grandmother, was always cooking with pressure cookers because in Puerto Rico sometimes you had to boil your water. So she had this great big monster of a pressure cooker. And for uh, for cooking purposes, for those for those dishes where you suspected your your temperatures weren't going to get hot enough and long enough, we would boil lots of water from the roof cistern. So I grew up with the sound of a pressure cooker with that weight and it's just a lot of drama a lot of noise well this thing does the same exact thing it builds pressure and it cooks safely but there is zero hissing there is zero steam being released into the house which is why there's just enough water to cover those beans and you guys are going to be surprised in an hour and 30 minutes what comes out of here um, the cooking cycle the actual cooking cycle is an hour and 30 the build up is probably going to be 15 minutes or so and then the bleed off because you don't want to just pop the pressure valve because you'll end up causing your beans to go and come apart and you don't want that so uh, you want this to do a natural release of pressure but the cool thing is this is why this is such a crucial thing to have in your life guys and gals you soak the beans the night before when you get up to go to work in the morning you saw how how long it took me to do that um, the, the seasonings and once you have this down pat it's it's one two three of the seasonings two envelopes of, of uh, soup mix mix it up beans go in water put it on and walk out the door for work and because it's set right now on the uh, keep warm yeah on the keep warm setting it will it will keep it when I say warm meaning it keeps it in like the hundred something degree level and it is the perfect temperature to ladle right in all right, it's done cooking, and it shows you that it's been, it's on low mode, and it shows you that it's been running for 46 minutes, meaning that the cycle is now done, and it's just keeping warm. The pressure, this right here is a safety valve, and the pressure is down. Rotate. It lifts slowly, because there's always going to be a little bit of uh, vacuum. Boom, beans are done, and they're the right consistency. Yep, you can see they, they squash just from the, uh, the scoop passing over them, which is the right consistency. Excellent flavor. This is an equation that we have repeated many times over. You don't have to add anything else to these beans. They're ready to eat just the way they are. Dump it in a bowl with some corn chips. I've got corn chips around here somewhere. These, these things are so standard for us. Corn chips, ranch dressing, and maybe some raisins or craisins on top. Go ahead and laugh all you want. Try the combination and write back. Look, even... Even um, dark chocolate chips, a few of them sprinkled on top, you'd be amazed the difference in flavors and how it brings out the flavors in the beans. But anyways, so once again, it is the Instant Pot Duo uh, Mini, or yeah, Instant Pot Duo Mini that you're going to need, and um, you're going to be surprised how many things you can make in it. Uh, I mean, it's, it comes with, uh, with an instruction manual. That, uh, that shows you cook times on bunches of different things that you can do. I mean, seriously guys, this thing is foolproof. It's fail-safe foolproof. So um, get on it guys, because if you want to impress your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, cook her a good meal. And uh, you'll be impressed the dividends that it pays because your relationship is going to be a lot better. Um, because when a woman doesn't feel like she's having to drag her man along doing everything for him, guys, life gets better. 
Um, every day I cook clean and I sew because you guys know that table, that's where I sew your sling. So literally every day I cook, I clean because I'm going to do dishes here in a couple of minutes and I sew. And I also run my weapons like a boss. So if that isn't a well-rounded man, I don't know what is. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll have the links for the Instant Pot uh, and, you know, all just the information you guys need to know. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those Instant Pots out and do some cooking. Have a good one.